Hello everyone. Thanks for joining me today. I'm going to be making um, a flower center for the Polly Burlap Farmhouse flower. Everything I'm using is listed below. So let's get started. First of all, when I start out, I do not put this down on the foam. I want to start out with a fresh, clean cut on the end of this so that it doesn't start fraying everywhere. And what I'm going to do is take a little piece of tape and wrap it around here so that I know this is not going to fray. Now most rope, when you buy it, will already have tape on the end of it, just for the same purpose so it doesn't fray. Okay, there's the end of my rope. You can see the scotch tape on it. Now I'm going to take this and turn it around in my hand and overlap that, overlap that middle. You see that? We're going to go right over it. Grab it with the other hand and twist. Now this is not going to be seen. The tape won't be seen. I start it in my hand. Uh, every time you go around, so I'm just going to pull that around. Don't worry about getting glue webs or anything like that because you're not going to see them when we get done. I just do a little teeny bit at a time on this since it is in my hand. Straightening it as I go. So now we have that little swirl. And we're almost, we've almost covered up this little beginning piece of tape. It's right there. So we're going to go around again. Okay, I've got it going on. Now I've got a little swirl. Kind of like a cinnamon roll. Go around one more time. There's our bottom. And that's where I'm going to be using the floral pins. It's on that. Okay. Now we've got it to a point where we can set it down. So I'm simply going to make a dot of glue about the middle of the disc put it on there okay now I'm just gonna go around here you don't need a whole lot of glue swooping that glue in swooping it around in and then you want to push it down Okay, like I said, swoop it in. It's probably a good idea to wear finger protectors, but I couldn't find mine. So here I am. Now, gotta be careful. Now we're just gonna keep on going around. And I don't know if I'm gonna keep this one, uh, I'm going to paint this one black or not. I'm not sure. I'll show you another black one that we made. Okay, guys. I'm going to show you this one that I've already got in, in the flower. I, this one is exactly like the kind that we're making. And I think I am going to go ahead and paint this one that we're making black. And, of course, the, the flower tutorial is in a different video. So there's that. Oh, and I almost forgot. If you guys have not um, gave me a thumbs up, liked, and share, I would greatly appreciate it. I just recently hit the 100 mark on my <laughs> on my YouTube channel. It took me forever to get to 100. So I mean, I'm really trying. So, if you could, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and hit that bell for notifications. I am live on Facebook every Thursday night 
at 7 o'clock to make one of my beautiful wreaths that I make. It's just perfectly, capital M, perfect. And I don't know if you can tell, but I'm not putting very much glue on here whatsoever. Because we don't want it all clumped up with glue. That's not a good look. And it just sticks without... There's no need to put that much glue on it. If you just every now and then stop and press it down with your hand. Continue to go around. And then simply push it down. I really enjoy making these. So I'm going to continue. I want to make sure you can see. Sorry about the beginning of this video. And not having this right in the camera. But I think you guys will get the point of what I'm doing. Okay, now, see this on the edge? See how it's not going down, but I put this one row of rope on the outside of this top. I'm just building onto it. I'm going to do that all the way around. Well, now that I have that going around like that, poking out some, making it a little bit larger than the disc itself. I'm going to continue using the rope above where I'm at as my guide. So now I can start going down. So I'm going to just put a little bit of glue on there again. I got this covered my table. Because I'm going to be painting. Okay, I've started going down. Down the side. And I haven't even had to use any floral pens yet. I mean, this is on here very good. Untangle more rope. Sisal rope is not expensive either. Not compared to other types of rope. Like the braided rope at Hobby Lobby. That's pretty expensive for the minute amount of rope that you actually get. I'm just going to keep going around this side. Not worrying about the dried glue. Nobody's going to see it. Okay, this side's all the way down. Flush with that. I'm going to continue to keep going. If you hit that bell for my notifications, you will know when I'm live. You also know when I put up another video. Okay, guys, I'm all the way down to the bottom. And I need to finish off. So what I'm going to do is put a little bit more right here on that. Hold that while it dries a little bit. See, it turned out pretty neat. I am kind of liking the natural look. Now, I could do that with a different flower, really. Because I have other rope. Okay, now I'm just going to take my glue gun and put some glue right here. To put it down. I'm going to grab another glue stick. Let me show you my sign that I made. I make signs. I don't know if I said that earlier, but I do. This is my sign I'm going to have next to me. And you can see how my name is spelled. There is no I and imperfect. Okay, back to what we were doing. I have some felt, and what I'm going to do don't worry about the glue either because if we, we're going to paint this particular one. I'm 
cut this off. I put my rope across here. Now I'm going to put quite a bit of glue on here and put my felt down on it. And now is when I think I'll bring in the floral pens. So see how long these are? We don't want them coming out the other side. So I'm going to cut it with my wire clippers. Simply put that in there. Fasten it down. Do the next one. And put this one right here. Okay, now I'm going to grab a couple of pipe cleaners. I'm just going to use white pipe cleaners. Why not? Be easier to see. We're going to go ahead and put the pipe cleaners on now. It won't hurt nothing. Okay, so I'm going to take a pipe cleaner, get as close to the middle as I possibly can. Lay that down on there. And cover it with the piece of felt. So I'm going to cut this again. Then I kind of squeeze them together. Take the next one. Put this right down in here. Help hold that one down. And we should have one more we do. Okay. We got our ties on. Now we're going to let this cool off for a little bit. Okay, guys, I'm going to get my paint ready, and I'll be right back. Okay, now I'm going to take this paint. Let me fix it. I want to make sure you guys can see. This is just Apple Barrel Jet Black Matte. Okay, I'm just going to take my paint, put some in my bowl. And there's two ways that you can actually do this. You can, like, I don't somewhat dry brush to where the whole thing's not coated. I'd say this is boho. I'd say this is boho style. You know, I'm kind of liking it just barely on there. Not so much like the other one. I think that looks really neat. Doesn't that look cool? So then on the sides, simply do the same thing, except for that one area where I already caked it on right there. Isn't that cool looking? But I don't know if I want this like this or if I want to go ahead and paint the whole thing. If you're watching this, let me know what you think. Let me know if you would have painted the whole thing or kept it like this. I can always make another one like this. So in order for it to look like the other one that I told you I was making, I'll just go ahead and paint it. And then it's probably going to have to sit for a few hours to dry. You just got to kind of blot it, blot it and paint it. I have to use a little more paint. I'm going to go off camera, let my flower center dry a bit, and I will be back. Okay, you guys, I'm back. Our flower center is dry. It's been 24 hours, but it's, and it's had time to dry, and this is what it looks like. The bottom and the top, and I love it. It's going to look perfect on a farmhouse flower. Now, I've decided to go ahead and take the Mod Podge matte and give it a coat of this. And I want to give it a pretty heavy coat because I want this to be sealed and 
I want it to be waterproof. I don't have to worry about anything, water getting on it or anything. The entire wreath will be waterproof. Now that being said, just because the wreath, the wreath is waterproof, it still needs some protection, like under an awning, in between doors, um, you know, just some kind of protection from the harsh elements of the weather. So, our, I'm going to go ahead and apply the Mod Podge to the center now. Okay, guys, here's our finished middle for our flower. Um, this can be used on the Unique in the Creek flower board. It can also be used on the wire frame. Here's a frame that I've had. I've had this plastic in here for a few months, anyway. And I just want to show you how well that fits right in the middle. This is a this is a 10 inch reform, and you just take your ties and go through the plastic grid. I don't know the proper name for it. I just call it a plastic grid. And then you can tie it on there. It's that easy. Okay. So I, I've still got to put the Mod Podge on it. So I'm not going to. I was just showing you a for instance. Um, I was just showing you how it would go on a 10 inch wreath form. And of course any size wreath form that you put this plastic grid in <clears throat> to hold it up you could use this with a Dollar Tree wreath form too just fill the inside of the Dollar Tree form up and set it on there so anyway now we're going to take it and seal it with Mod Podge I have matte Mod Podge I'm going to seal it really good I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a generous coat on this. Of course, it dries clear. Okay. Seal up the sides real good. Oh my! Okay, I'm. Okay, guys, I. Um, it's about three days later as I was looking at the video that I've already had up for my flower middle, the end of it got cut off. So the last thing that you guys saw me do was put Mod Podge on our flower center. Well, here it is and it's hard. It's sealed. So again, you know, the back doesn't look too pretty, but it serves its purpose. I have four ties. This can go into a Unique in the Creek large flower board. It can also go into a regular wreath form with the plastic grid in the middle. You just put these pipe cleaners through the plastic grid like I already showed you in the other video. So, this is our finished painted rope center for our flower. So, this is how I did it. Okay, guys. If you haven't already, please give me a thumbs up. Hit the bell for notifications. This helps me. Have YouTube noticed me just a little bit more? I've just started my YouTube channel. Um, so if you would give me a thumbs up. Put a comment down in the comments. Let me know if you would have painted this or left it just a natural colored rope. And I will see you all later. Bye-bye.